So right now we're going to take a look at getting our handstand dips stronger. For some of you that are already doing handstand dips and want to be able to increase your numbers or be more powerful or dynamic through that handstand, one of the ways that you're able to do that is by having a good handstand and having a spotter, someone that can help you out and give you some variation of what you're doing. So the first thing, as a spotter, I want to make sure that the person I'm spotting can actually do a handstand on the floor and hopefully even do an already on the parallel bars if you're trying to do a handstand dip. So with those things already taken care of, we're going to look at a few handstand dips. So we're just going to do uh, two handstand dips and then we're going to talk just for a second and then we're going to do a few more. I'm going to spot you through some. So I'm just checking out, seeing what he's doing on his own. I'm looking at his body alignment. I'm getting an idea for the range of motion that he's going to go through. Good. So that gives me a lot of information and I pretty much know what we're going to work on for you. So that's your handstand dip. When I think of a handstand dip, I think of a full range of motion. So that is going as low as possible and ultimately going even below the bar, possibly even to like a lever or something like that. But for all practical purposes, staying in a handstand position is as low as you're comfortable with here all the way through a handstand that's all the way pushed out. Now, the second thing is if you can vary the position you do your handstand dip in, instead of using just the larger muscle groups here, if you can start to straighten out the handstand, the straighter body alignment, you're going to be using different muscles. So it's possible to squeeze two or three out in this position and slowly start to change your body position and use bigger muscle groups. By the time you start to squeeze those out, you can start to change your position back again to the muscles that were getting a little bit of rest there. Okay? There's other things that can happen in fire and there can be a little bit of motion with your body, but taking all those factors out right now as we're training it, we want our body as one unit, okay? And our arms are going to be just two units, I mean the two basic units that you have. So um, what we're going to do right now is you're going to do as many handstand dips as you can and then while you're there, I'm going to place you in a handstand and we're going to correct your handstand position and do handstand dips in a perfect handstand position, okay? So I feel comfortable jumping up on the bar because I already know that you can get to the handstand on your own. Go ahead, as many as you can. Good. Pump them out. Keep going. Keep going. Excellent. Come on. Keep it moving. Good job. That's it. Get after it. Come on. Come on. Push, push, push. Strong. Good, good. Good, good. Up, up, up. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. We've got another one all on your own. Come on. Push it out. Push it out. Push it out. Good. Stay in that handstand. Stay in that handstand. What I need you to do is look at your toes right now. Look at your feet. Keep your back flat. That's really good. Okay, we're doing a handstand dip. Watch your toes the whole time. Ready? Go. Handstand dip. Watch your toes. Go down. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Further, further, further. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Up, 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 up. Excellent. Good. That was dynamic. Pull that stomach in. Here. Yes. Watch those toes. Again. Go. Down, down, down. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Up. Good. Head in. Head in. Head in. Right there. And again. Go. Go. Head in. Head in. Good. Excellent. Watch it. Keep going. Doing great. Push it up. Push. Head in. Head in. Head in. Watch those feet. Again. Come on. Squeeze those legs together. Go. Go. Come on. Doing great. Excellent. Push it up, push it up, come on, watch, head in right now, head in, stomach in, keep going, come on, come on, you got two more, let's go, I got it, come on, watch them, excellent, excellent, watch those feet, watch those feet, right here, this is where you need it, right here, stomach in, stomach in, 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 come on, one more, go, 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 excellent, come on, watch those feet, good, push it up, push it up, stomach in, 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 stomach in, come on, find that handstand, find that handstand, right now, pull that stomach in, squeeze those legs together, right there, good, come on down, excellent. Good, that's your set. That's how we get stronger. We're gonna relax just a little bit. Catch your breath, get some water. We want 100%. We have just one more set, that's it, okay? When you're maxing out on a set like this with your spotter, one thing, I'm very confident in his, uh, in his fitness level. So I know that I'm not pushing him further than what he can do. I know that our communication is good. So if something's hurting or something's not right, He's going to say stop or whatever it is, or he has the ability to come down and do whatever he needs to do to protect his body. I think that's one of the most important things is that your spotter is, uh, is in communication and you guys know what's going on. So those are very easy to spot. 
like very easy to spot. Um, I saw a lot of good focused intent. We were able to make corrections right away through it. And so that's the type of intensity that you want to move through. Um, but having that spotter to help you max those things out and push you way beyond your limitations is really what you're looking for. Because at this point, he already did as many as he could any way he possibly could. So that muscle group is burnt out. He could no longer rely on that. We've eliminated it. So then we start to move to groups of muscles he's never used before for a handstand dip. And this is where the magic comes in. And this is how we get stronger. And it really takes someone to help you through those positions and uh, to just to move you through like you haven't done before. Because if you've done it before, you're not going to get any better.